Hey guys, so after yesterday's video, I saw a lot of your submissions. A couple guys said the M1 Garand, the M1 Carbine, and the SKS were their favorite rifles to shoot. Those are some pretty solid choices. I, I love the Garand. It just it feels perfect. And I've got I've got a Norinco uh, SKS. Actually, it technically is a Type 56. It's a military one I got from Collector's Arms, I believe. One of the ones with a uh, with a garbage stock I had to replace. But it um, got me thinking about what's my favorite handgun to shoot. I've got a lot of really nice handguns. I've got this Glock 17 that I've shot tens of thousands of rounds through that I really love. It's got a Sonsico threaded barrel on it right now, so when I get my suppressor, I can mount that on there. And it's a good gun. It's not my favorite. I've got this Beretta 92 Inox Compact, and these guns get a lot of, a lot of hate, but I think they're really nice, nice pistols. Um, yeah, they have some issues. But uh, they still make make fine fine handguns, but still not my favorite. Though definitely one of, one of my favorite in terms of appearance. This, this is a gorgeous pistol. And I've got my Sig P226 with a threaded barrel and a TLR1 flashlight on it. Love this gun. This gun's a hell of a lot of fun to shoot, especially with a suppressor. Not my favorite. I'm actually torn between two pistols. Now, what are these two pistols? Well, the first one's kind of a cop-out, I'll admit. It's a Colt Series 70 stainless 1911, chambered in 45 ACP. And uh, this is the first Colt I ever owned. It's a, it's a late 70s model. And this, this one in particular, I got from a gentleman in 2004. I traded him a Wasser for it. So uh, I think I did all right on the trade. I think I did pretty damn good. He, uh, he, he loved the Wasser, said it was the best gun he ever, ever, ever bought, and uh, said this gun was a piece of junk. I disagree, but everybody left happy, so fair trade. But that's not my favorite gun, though it's a close second. My favorite gun you've seen before in first review in the past, Smith & Wesson Model 10-6. I love this gun. This is my favorite handgun to shoot. It just feels, balances, and shoots the way a pistol should in an action movie. It just can't miss. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's not the most powerful gun in the world. It's only 38 special, but with this heavy barrel on it, and uh, you can see a little bit, little bit of, a uh, little bit of K's nail polish there on the front sight. That's my, that's my front sight paint, my high vis neon pink sight, and uh, and it's, it's a, it's a pre-lock, so it's, it's, it's got like beautiful, beautiful trigger control. And you'll notice it's got Patchmeyer grips on. I got rid of the, the original ones. This type of grip is better suited to double action shooting. So you can see, you can curl that thumb, get good leverage. But what's really crazy is, <laughs> yeah, the trigger on this thing is ridiculous. It belonged to a chief of police in a small Massachusetts town who sold it to me. Uh, for about $400, which is kind of too much, really, for what it was. Uh, but I really, really wanted it. I wanted to try to shoot IDPA in SSR, Stock Service Revolver uh, Division. And I had tried a few of the newer Model 60s, Model 64s, and whatnot, the uh, the modern Smith & Wesson revolvers. And I found that the, that the combination of um, the, the lock being installed and the... Massachusetts compliant eight to 10 pound trigger made accurate shooting and double action nigh impossible for anyone but, you know, McCulloch. Hey, and that guy can freaking shoot a 70 pound trigger six times faster than I can shoot a quarter pound trigger. But aside from real professionals like Jerry, only a handful of people can shoot, you know, rough trigger double action revolvers worth of any sort of damn. So when I got this gun and I realized just how accurate it was, oh, it's been great. Um, I'll often take strolls in the woods behind my house. Uh, we have a lot. We have a lot of squirrels, a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of rabbits and whatnot. I'll just load up some wad cutters, walk around, wait for a solid backstop, and I'll bullseye squirrels in the head at 35 yards, skin them, cook them up, done. Which is kind of ridiculous, right? I mean, it's, this isn't a survival weapon, but sure as hell could be. Uh, it's probably not my my first choice as a bug out weapon, but I have a lot, a lot of confidence with this weapon, so I know I can, I can make shots when I have to. It's just one of those guns that just feels awesome.
What about you guys? What's the handgun you reach for when you've only got a few minutes to plank? Is it the ubiquitous Ruger Mark III? The Plastic Fantastic? Maybe the Italian Stallion? I don't know. Leave me a comment. I'm, I'm curious to see, guys. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe, and tell your friends and get them hooked on the drug uh, video as well. Thanks, guys.